why are you so glowy? Like, you look like you're in love. You look like you're pregnant. You look like you're just glowing from within. What are you doing to your skin? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a skincare video. We're back in my bathroom and I'm so excited to do this because I haven't done a skincare video in a while. Um, and this one I'm actually going to be using all new products that I've been trying out. This video is in partnership with Sephora Inside JCPenney to let you guys know about some of their new products that have just come out. Everything that I'll be talking about in this video is available at Sephora Inside JCPenney. All the links will be in the description box, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove my face. <laughs> you wanna do your makeup removal first. And you guys know I love a good makeup remover. A makeup melting balm, that is what I like to use. Personally, I do not like makeup wipes. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know makeup wipes are not my friend. So we're gonna start off with the Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This is a limited edition version of their Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. It's a pink cherry scented version of the Bestling Green Clean Cleansing Balm. I'm going to rub that into my hand and I'm just gonna start removing my makeup. And I love that this product smells like cherry. All right, we're gonna rinse this off and we'll be back after that. All right, so now for a cleanser, I'm going to use the Fresh Sugar Exfoliating Face Wash. I think what I love about this face wash is that it's a very gentle face wash, um, so it doesn't feel abrasive like some scrubs tend to do. Um, typically when you get a scrub, you know, they're, they're very like harsh and abrasive and I think that kind of is counterproductive to what you're trying to do. The granules in it are like mostly sugar, so um, it really just melts into your skin and doesn't leave you feeling over scrubbed. You know what I'm saying? Very, very gentle. I usually don't use a scrub on my face. When I saw this one, I knew I was gonna like it. I don't know why, I just had a feeling it spoke to me. I think that was Jesus. Exfoliating is key to getting the glow. Exfoliation is key. We're gonna be doing a lot of exfoliating tonight, all right? So once I'm done exfoliating, we're just gonna rinse this off as well and come back. And I think what I love the most about this face wash is how smooth and soft my skin feels. Normally when I wash my face, my skin feels really like squeaky clean. And I guess it depends on how you want your skin to feel after you wash your face. My skin is so soft. It feels clean, but it also feels very, very hydrated. It's what I like to feel, okay? We don't wanna feel dry and crusty. We wanna feel nice and smooth. After cleansing our face, we're going to use a toner. Toner is like one of the most important steps in your skincare regimen. I tend to forget to do toner a lot, but I've started to do it a lot more now because I have this new one and because I um, I know how important it is to balance the pH again. We have the Ula Henriksen Dark Spot Toner, the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. This actually contains high potency AHAs. Now you guys know I love AHAs. I talk about them all the time. They are very important for resurfacing the skin. So they help to um, get rid of dark spots and hyperpigmentation, but they also help with um, just brightening the skin overall and giving you a nice glow. So even if you don't have dark spots and you just want a uh, glowier complexion, if you have a dull complexion, this really helps with that as well. So I love AHAs. I use them in pretty much every single skincare video that I've ever talked about and ever done. I use some type of AHA or BHA in my routine. That's how I get the dark spots gone and that's how I keep my glowy skin. Rub that in in a circular motion. I don't always use a cotton pad. I sometimes just use my hand, hands to just pat it into my skin. If you're new to AHAs, you may want to be a little bit careful with this one because it does tingle a little bit. If you do have any active breakouts or pimples, it will kind of tingle a little bit. Um, so don't be alarmed. That's just the AHA doing its thing. Uh, so you might want to be a little bit careful if you do have sensitive, more sensitive skin, but it does work, okay? We're going to move on to our face mask. Ula Henriksen Fat Glow Facial, which has PHAs in it. They are a more gentle version of AHA. This one is the one that's like more for gentle, a gentler use. Um, and it isn't super harsh on the skin. Um, it just leaves you with a nice glow. So it does still do the same thing as AHAs and BHAs. It's just not as harsh. Um, but what I love about this is how smooth it is. It makes your skin feel so like soft and smooth, but it gives you like an amazing glow. But yeah, I love this product. It starts off pink and then it turns white as it goes on. Really like 
not sticky but just really thick um, because I am getting my face lasered like I said before I don't typically use products that are too harsh on my skin these days um, just because I want to make sure that I'm not like burning my skin up around that area because it is more sensitive now that I am lasering we just put that mask all over and we're gonna let it do its magic. So yeah, this mask is gonna give you a nice glow. It's gonna plump your skin, give you that youthful glow. You know what I'm saying? Where people are like, why are you so glowy? Like, you look like you're in love. You're like you're pregnant. You look like you're just glowing from within. What are you doing to your skin? The AHAs, BHAs, PHAs, they all work really, really well. I love stuff like this. They, uh, they just make my skin feel so good. Because it is so gentle, you can use this mask twice a week. Um, as opposed to other masks that I've talked about before like the drunk elephant one that one you can only use like once a week and you can use it day or night you can use it before your makeup or you use it before bed doesn't really matter um, but I prefer to use products like this at night so that when I sleep my um, skin is still kind of doing its magic and it's been cleansed and plumped and all of that if you feel like using it during the day get your glow on girl I'm just gonna use a warm towel to wipe off this mask. skin feels when I take this off oh my goodness my skin feels so soft you can see like how glowy it is like just amazing my skin looks so happy all right another product that I've been trying that I've really been loving is the pineapple sea serum um, by glow recipe and I have been wanting to try this for a while now and I'm really glad that I got it because I actually really like it it's a vitamin C serum so it is going to help with getting the glow and brightening. Pretty much all of Glow Recipes products do that though. I mean, if you use any of Glow Recipes products, they're gonna give you the glow. They're a Korean skincare brand, so Korean skincare is always giving you the glow no matter what. So, I use this serum after doing all of my other steps. Now, if you have um, a sensitivity to smells, this smells exactly like pineapple. So if you don't like the smell of pineapple, you will not like this, but I like it. I like it a lot. I love pineapple, so. I know pineapple is not everybody's cup of tea. Glow, honey. All right, now we're going to use our moisturizer, our last step of our skincare. We're gonna use our moisturizer. This is the Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Deeply hydrates and brightens, okay? It has three types of vitamin C in it. Vitamin C is a key component in getting the glow as well um, because it, it does help brighten a lot. So using products with AHAs, PHAs, and vitamin C is definitely what's gonna give you the bright glow. This is like the ultimate glowy skincare routine, okay? If you want glowy skin, all this brightening and vitamin C and AHA, PHA, lactic acid, sorbic acid, all these acids and things, really gonna give you a nice complexion. And I just like to massage my moisturizer into my skin. If it's a pamper day and I can take my time, well, I don't know about you guys, but I give myself facials. I love to just baby my skin because then it comes out looking baby smooth. You know what I'm saying? So you got to baby your skin sometimes, guys. Don't be so quick to just, okay, I'm done. That's what guys do. That's what guys do when they wash their face. They're just like, okay, I'm done. That was it. That's it. The glow is real. I'm gonna put on some more moisturizer. Why? Because I can. I do have a little skincare refrigerator in here now so I can keep my stuff nice and cool. Um, especially when I get out of the shower, a nice cold skincare routine makes me happy. Okay y'all, so that is my skincare routine, trying the new skincare that I've recently got from Sephora inside JCPenney. If you guys liked this tutorial and want to see more skincare tutorials like it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know you want to see some more. And also make sure to leave a comment, let me know which product you want to try. If you've tried any of these products, let me know what you think. Be sure to stay tuned to my Instagram because I have a giveaway that's going to be happening, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, all the details will be there. And that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs>